All right, y'all, what's up? It's Gabby. You know what time it is. Um, I'm doing a story time today. I know I didn't do my intro. I'm not in the best, best. I can't even talk. I'm pissed. I'm not even in the best of mood today. And I do usually say when I do a story time, I let shit cool down. I let stuff cool down. I give it about a month, a couple weeks, a few days. But, yo, I am pissed. People coming for me, calling me a bully on Instagram for defending myself. Um, after getting stolen from at somebody copying my design, copying the exact color scheme, the exact placement, the exact design. Only thing different was the font, but I'm going to get into it. I always tell y'all that I like for y'all to get away from y'all's negative energy when you come to my channel. When you come to my channel, I want y'all to forget about depression. I want y'all to forget about something bad that happened in your relationship. I want y'all to forget about it's so many when you at school today. I want y'all to forget about... The nasty food you ate for dinner. Like, I want y'all to... It's, my, my local Black Child channel is an escape. That's what I do stuff for. For y'all to have an escape and just laugh. And I kick you with me. But today, I have to admit, my energy is a little more negative. Hence, me not even doing my intro. When do I not do my intro, y'all? I'm pissed. I am pissed. Another thing, before I get into it. I never expose no names or no story time. But not only that. Y'all always tell me, Gabby, I love you, but every story time you letting somebody run all over you. Every time I get, I do story time, I let, I get those comments. You let everyone all run, run all over you, and I always get irritated. Like, what? I just, I'm nice. That's how I am. But then coming to realize, y'all's right. I let people run all over me. People continue to do stuff to me, do crazy stuff to me. And me not speak up because oh, I'm nice, or oh, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings, or oh, I don't like confrontation. I'm speaking up today, and I'm using my platform. Um, disclaimer number three, I won't be putting no at names, like always. I'll blur out stuff. I'll blur out faces. I'll blur out at names, everything, y'all. But one thing I'm not doing, which I usually do, I'm not going ahead and deleting the comments that expose this girl name. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because usually when I do a story time, I never include names. Somebody somehow find out I'll be deleting comments, hiding it from my channel so they stop commenting the person's name. I'm not doing it today. I'm not. I'm just not doing it today. So basically the story time today is going to be about, I'm, I'm including every single receipt. Because people trying to be out here making me look like the bad person in this situation. When everything I do is n never out of malice, never out of spite. Y'all already know what's up. I'm a good person. I keep it real. I treat others how I want to be treated unless you come for me. And I'll say exactly what I want to say back. Because once you disrespect me, it's up in the air then. But when it's on a regular, I respect people. I give people credit. Whole time, I never have really had to do that because I never take anyone's stuff. But I would if I'm taking it. And, yeah, you already know I don't get into nothing like that, for real, for, unless somebody trying me. But today, we're going to do some talking about this girl who stole my design, blatantly stole it. And if you say otherwise, you big tripping. After what I'm about to tell y'all, y'all still on this girl's side. I'm seriously, it's, 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 out of, it's, it's, a, it's a personal problem at this point, for real. Because you must have something against me. Because if you's defending this girl right now, you's delusional. So, boom. I'm on TikTok about, let's say, how when was this, y'all? What's today? Today is Sunday at 1 a.m. So technically it's Saturday because I don't know, y'all, but when it's like 1 o'clock in the morning on and it's just, it was just Saturday, I still be saying it's Saturday, but technically it's Sunday. But on Friday, right, y'all already know how I feel about TikTok. I'm never on TikTok. I never go on that joint ever unless I'm promoting Hello Black Child, my business. Unless I'm promoting my business. I go on there. So... For some reason, something told me, which I don't know what told me, but something told me, go ahead to your TikTok and just look. Like, look at the notifications. What told me that? Girl, I don't know. I go to TikTok. I'm seeing at Hello Black Child, at Hello Black Child, at Hello Black Child. I'm like, and yo, I get so many notifications. I never catch when somebody tagged me. It's, it's constant notifications. I'm like, it's like, this was meant for me to see. So I'm saying, Apple, hello, black child. I click the notification and I come up on this girl TikTok. I'm put all the receipts, so it's gonna be either here or here. Y'all, y'all gonna see. So I'm like, oh, I guess this is a supporter. 
because I sell some, like, I thought she was wearing my clothes. You may be wondering, what clothes you talk about? I thought she was selling, she was wearing my, let me zip this jaw up so y'all can see the whole, the whole jaw because I'm not tripping. Like, I'm not tripping. Hold on, you Let me zip this up. <laughs> And this video about to be full of receipts. I don't play y'all because when somebody's trying to ruin, make me, make me a bully when I'm the victim, you got me messed up for real, for real, for real. And you better, why are you giving this girl, somebody, I'm not even going to get into that right now. I'm going to, I'm going to tell y'all later. I'm thinking this girl is wearing my set. I'll show y'all again. I thought this girl was wearing my set. This is not the first time I saw somebody sell something similar to me. To me. I let stuff slide and this is the first time I'm talking about it. If you said you y'all know people be stealing my stuff, especially if you in my spam. I always talk about it, but I never bring it to light. Cause I be trying to spare feelings. But I thought this was when my sister, I said, oh, this, they're taking me in a supporter's outfit. Then I read the caption. It said, when should we drop our new sweatsuits? So I, me being blind as hell, look closer. I'm not even blind. I just like, just I just thought she was doing my stuff. I look, it says her brand on it. And I'm like, so I go to the comments, hear the comments. I'm, a, I'm, put at, yo, I'm putting everything on the screen. Talk about some looks like a hello black child. Girl, I know you're gonna copy a little black child. Someone said, um, looks familiar at hello black child. Hello black child. Someone else said, giving me hello black child. And there were other, hold on, let's, there was already comments there before I got there. Someone said, for some reason, this looks familiar. Someone commented and said, yeah, comment looks like hello black child. And someone said, yeah, death do. So I like, I'm like, wow. I go off the app, I text my sister, and we talk about it. She's like, I'm gonna I'm just go ahead and comment and, and say whatever, whatever. I go back, all the comments that say my name was gone. All the comments said was like, oh, I really want it. I want it now for you, Paige, now. Oh, we really excited. It was no more Hello Black Child. So this girl was deleting my, my, like, my names out of the comments. So my sister goes ahead and says, to me, like, I'm going to try to find it. Like, you stealing my sister's stuff. Delete it. Bet. Bet. I go to the girl Instagram. And it says she dropping the stuff on 728. So she dropping these clothes in a few days. And I guess she's getting everybody all riled up for her launch. One thing about me, I go to the girl's story. Y'all not going to believe this. I go to the girl's story, and she has a picture of my living room for the background of her countdown. So know how when you post a countdown, Instagram asks you to include a photo. She included a photo of my living room. Them is the books my mom bought me. Them is the coasters I got from where I get them coasters from. Good scent, home sense. That's the candle from Bath and Body Works. That's my pink couch and the the um pills I got from Home Sense. Them is my packages and that's my stickers. So you're using my photo with my packages for your one year anniversary. And I just turned one too. My brand just turned one too. But you're using the background of my home. Uh, a, a, a room I can walk right out the door right now and see. That's why I drew the line. I comment on our Instagram. I said, you literally stole my design, colors and all. Use a photo of my house for your countdown. And she and I said, I'll be making a story time exposing you. And I'll also be taking legal actions. Because one thing I'm about to tell me is that this was your original idea. And this was your original idea. Because 
Yeah, absolutely not. So before we get into it, I'm gonna explain where I got my idea from for this set. So first of all, first of all, a, a guy named Jared from my school made my logo. He chose the coloring. He chose everything. All the colors you see on here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, was all his idea. I paid him to draw it. He drew it up, and that's my logo for a year now. So I got this design for this hoodie, this, like, specific, you know, actual hoodie design from this brand I used to wear when I was in ninth grade. I used to wear this ratty bind hoodie from American Apparel every day because for some reason, this hoodie back in high school made me feel safe. It made me feel safe. I was very shy in high school, so I used to just, like, want to be, like, eh. I don't know. I don't know. It's just what it's just what it is. But I used to wear this ratty hoodie, this beaded behind cheap hoodie in high school, crop top with the little um, pockets. It was just little cheap strings, beady everywhere, terrible material. I told my vendor, I had this in colors pink and blue and black. I told my vendor I want this crop top styled hoodie, but I want the pockets to be bigger, take up more of the hoodie. And I picked the colors and everything like that. I, and for the pants, I said that I want my logo. This is my, so I have three logos. I have the girls with the, with the um rainbow. I have just the words going across. And I also have words in three, one, two, three, because just in case I want to put it on pants. I just don't like the look of a straight across logo on the pants. I want it stacked. That was my idea. The idea from the pants came from my very first drop back in last um fall i Tariq, my vendor made these shorts made these pants and all i said was Tariq, can you make them into shorts i want the same material thick quality i want the same logo but i just want them in shorts since it's getting hot outside that's where i got my idea from just making that clear so I ended up posting on my Instagram, and before you say, Gabby, why is you posting, use a bully like everybody else is saying, first of all, I built my platform from the flow up. I built my platform from zero. Just like everybody built their platform, so did I. I just happened to have a little bit more followers. So you think because I got more followers, I'm supposed to leave stuff, I'm supposed to just like leave stuff? I'm not supposed to speak on stuff. I'm supposed to be quiet because, oh, I got a bigger following. Absolutely not. Just like y'all use y'all Instagram, I'm using my Instagram for the same stuff. And y'all already know, I don't even post like that on there. I post cute little pictures, memes, and that's it. But today was the day. Today was the day. I, like I said, I let people run all over me. Today was the day. I went ahead. I posted what happened. I posted, let's see. I said at the girl, hey boo, since you wanna delete comments, turn off um comments, steal my original design, because I just explained to you how I designed my stuff that Jared drew up my logo. I positioned the logo. I got this from a hoodie I used to wear in high school. And use my house to promote promote your launch. I'll be exposing you on YouTube for thousands of people to see. I'll be including your TikTok at name. Instagram at name and business name so everyone will know exactly who you are. It's so cringy because you didn't even try to be slick. You literally are launching the same colors as me. She's launching purple and and cream. Here's the side by sides. You serious right now? But I got that's that's drawing and you nasty for that. But I got you, but you got the wrong one. Oh, and I'll be taking legal actions. So then, after I guess that got a little bit of traction, and people was leaving comments, she finally turned up all her comments on Instagram. Can't comment, can't do nothing. She DMs me on my Hello Black Child account because on my Instagram, I cannot contact people for a week. They ban me from contacting somebody because I cut somebody out for cussing at me for no reason. Like I said, I'm going to use my platform the same way I use yours. If someone cussed at you, you do the same thing. So don't look at me twisted because I'm using my platform the same way. I got feelings. I built my, my brand from the flow up. 
I put blood, sweat, and tears. Sitting in this room, depressed, crying over little stuff because of my brand. Not eating, not sleeping, packaging orders all night. Literally forgetting about how to take care of myself because I'm putting more time into my brand. Staying up for 24 hours, talking to vendors in China, staying up late. Designing stuff, drawing stuff, putting more than 100K into my brand. You think I'm going to really sit here and let stuff slide still? Like This is like the fifth time somebody tried me. Give it 10th time. So she says, hi, can we speak privately? Because I want to understand what's going on. And I don't want, my, want you to get the wrong idea of my brand. I said, girl, what? what's this? And I put our stuff side by side. And she said, is there a way for us to get on the phone? I promise you not the, I'm not the girl you think I am. I'm not giving you my number. And before you say you should have made a text now number, I'm not going out of my way to make a text now number talk to this girl. And I'm not getting on the phone. Absolutely not. I'm making a video about it tomorrow. She said, I don't want you to feel like I'm stealing your brand. This is the first time doing my own clothing pieces. I posted that video on TikTok and never thought it would go like this. Then I said, but you are. Look at that photo. Same color, same design. Do you understand that nobody else sells this? Please sit here and tell me who sells the same. Like this, like not even this. Oh, sweatsuits and shirts. Tell me who sells rainbow shit like this. Who, who, who? I, I made this. Jared did my logo. So she said, I'm a young entrepreneur. I promise you I worked so hard for my brand. And so am I. She's 19. I'm 20. We in, we in the same age range. I work hard too. So what? I said, you stole my stuff. What you talking about? You also used a, a picture of my living room, which made it the, the icing on the cake. She said, I see it was a like, but I promise you I never tried to steal anything. I said, now you sick in the head for real. <laughs> I'm making a, vi a video period and I'll be taking legal actions. My brand is an LLC. She said, I don't want you to take any legal actions. I, if you want me to take it down, I will. So I just asked her, like, where'd you come up with this idea for the, for, the, for the hoodie and stuff like that? Where'd you get those designs? So then she backtracks and says, the first outfit is, pic is picture. The first outfit in this picture is purple not it's not purple it's pink look i said yeah i'm done talking to you because you ain't gonna own up on what what's going on after at this point after purple said let's talk about that this and you deleting comments and hiding stuff so then i she said i was only gonna put my logo on the jacket but my vendor said i should do otherwise i will not sell the sweatsuits but please don't take away my brand from me because i have put everything into this literally my thing is Okay, got you. Cool. But me being me, if I didn't do nothing wrong, why would I go ahead and take down a launch? Because someone said I stole their stuff when I really did not. What I look like ordering, I don't know how much he's paying for these. But I pay thousands for mine, my book. What I look like ordering a thousand dollars for a sweatsuit and taking it down because some random girl up and said that this that's my design. Mm, okay, all right. And this is only the beginning. So then, after that happened, the girl go on her Instagram and goes on a rant. Talk about, I'm put the rant right here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, I should really be asleep, but I can't sleep because y'all are blowing up my phone. I'm here to really state my side and state where I stand in the whole situation. Most of y'all don't know me, and most of y'all never, probably ever heard of my brand, of course because I do have a small business that's leading up to become bigger. I have been selling like purses and suits and all that type of stuff. I've never sold like clothing of my own, but I've always wanted to. So this time it was like, okay, I'm gonna come out and sell my own clothes with my logo on it and all that type of stuff. I didn't want to sell like long suits, even though I know I'm going to, but it's still summertime. So that's why I choose to sell short sweatsuits like I did with my logo on it. That video on TikTok, knowing it was gonna go big, like people was gonna love the clothing, but I didn't really think it was gonna take the wrong turn. People started to be like, oh, I, I love the clothing, I want it, like I wanna buy it now, like drop it right now, I'm gonna buy it, all that type of stuff. Like, okay, like getting yeah, all excited, like I can't wait to drop the stuff. And then everybody started tagging that my brand is copied by another brand, goes by the name Hello Black Show. 
And I was like, hold on, like, where everybody talking about stuff? And Ty really look, and I'm like, why is everybody seeing this? And I seen her brand. And I'm like, oh, I could get what people are saying that my brand look like hers, but my brand is not like hers. It's really not. And then you all started going crazy to the point. It's so much comments in the comment section. And I take control of and yeah I was deleting them because it's just like why even feel like you have the audacity to even speak on my brand to look like somebody else's brand and then it's so much like it's starting to be so much y'all and then other people in the comments like her brand don't look like my like hello black child brand like standing up for my brand and I appreciate it but it's just like I that's that was the reason why I turned out the comments because it was just so much of y'all and so much people saying hatred stuff so I was like, okay, turn the, turn the comments off. I turned the comments off on that post, but the numbers were going crazy. Then y'all started coming on Instagram and, and like talking on Instagram. I mean, my comments talking bad and stuff like that. Then going on my DMs and calling my phone number, which at this point it's starting to be like you're getting out of hand because most of y'all are just little kids. And some of y'all are like my, around my age. And then some of y'all like grown adults and y'all are calling me like the B word and this and that. <laughs> y'all don't even me from a can of paint that's what's so funny but it's okay though like no hurt like i get y'all y'all feel some type of way but it's just like i keep telling y'all that my brand don't look like this girl stuff and y'all are saying that they do and i'm gonna show y'all how it don't look like this the first outfit y'all seen it had looked like purplish but it's not purple it's really pink and before all this i was like before i made the video i'm gonna talk to her personal because i'm not no i'm not gonna like act like no little kid and try to go back and forth on social media i'm not gonna do that so i was like i'm gonna text her and yes she did not want to talk to me and still stand her ground and stuff but i'm glad i still talked to her even though you know she exposed the message which y'all seen which I, i'm not like you know i'm not mad about or whatever case name. So yeah so i get how she felt like well most of the people felt like my brand was imitating her brand because of like the clothes being colorful the thing is y'all not understanding is that i brought up two colors pink and one cream color the cream color text low like the logo text is colorful because i was like colorful being on cream or white it looks good regardless my text is not colorful my logo is not a colorful logo it's just white and the background is black on the pink one i made it white and black just like my logo but on a cream color i made it colorful so the fact that y'all felt like i start i stole so the fact that y'all felt like I start, I stole her stuff, like I want to understand the it, the pink and the cream and I bought out red and blue and they were colorful. I could get that y'all thinking I stole the girl brand, but I promise you I did not steal this girl brand at all. And the fact that y'all think that is like really mind blowing. I tried to show her like the, the original color and stuff, but I think she probably felt like the color was probably like, I probably edited the picture, but these are the shorts here. These are the colors of shorts. And you can see right here, the actual color is pink. That's the actual color. So yeah, I did not try to, I did edit the pictures because it's like, you have to edit the pictures so they make it pop out. So I edited the pictures so it kind of looked like purplish and stuff. But I'm just saying, I did not steal this girl brand. And to take legal actions towards me, it kind of hurt because it's just like, I'm like a smart, like, bro, I'm, I'm like a vibing type of person. Like, I never thought it would really went this way. And y'all in my comments wishing, like, death upon me, calling me out my names, wish somebody beat me, wish somebody dragged me. Like, y'all are freaking, like, insane, like, really insane, right? I can't really, this is why I can't be a famous person, bro, because y'all are really, like, insane in the head. Y'all wishing all these bad stuff on me, but it's cool. Like, no biggies. Wish all the bad stuff y'all want to wish on me. I just don't want her to take legal action towards my business. I still stand my ground. You don't want me to sell the sweatsuits? Okay, I won't. I won't sell the sweatsuits. I promise you, I won't post them on my website. They won't. You don't want me to sell the sweatsuits and stuff? That's okay. They won't be sold. But at the end of the day, I still stand my ground. And, I, and Dream Dog Collection still stands. Like, I have worked hard for my brand. I have put so much thought into this brand. So for somebody to feel like I'm stealing their and then you want to take me down it hurts because i'm just like you i'm just an upcoming person that want to go big so the fact that you felt like i saw your stuff was not the case like i really wish we had a conversation where she would have been like okay i felt like you stole my stuff and i would have been like yeah i didn't and if you didn't want me to sew that type of color would have kissed and be cool but that's okay i'm just not going to sell the sweatsuits all together but dreams our collection still stands i'm still going to have my brand regardless 
and I'm still gonna um other stuff like it's okay you don't want me to sell this stuff i don't have to sell this stuff but i know regardless people are still going to support me and not from the ones that's hating on me but people still want to support me and people still gonna love me and i still love my brand i did not copy your brand. so the girl took about some basically my business still stands i'm trying to tear down another black business what else she said, y'all? because i didn't watch it i just froze i put it in there and now i'm talking but what else she said y'all she said she like this like she worked so hard this and the third you're not taking accountability she said and then she said she's getting death threats L please listen she said she's getting threats death threats so with that people was coming to my page after the whole oh i'm getting death threats thing this is the type of dms i was getting her sets are actually pink not purple like I said, F the pink, the purple, whatever the hell sets. Let's talk about these, but people still stuck on the pink, purple sets, whatever. She said, but hey, I guess you got another YouTube video out of all this. I hope you don't completely destroy this girl's confidence and mindset after you make this video for money. You're all about uplifting black girls, I thought. I love your brand and your videos, but you being so nasty about this. Like, even if she did just one day come up with the idea to put her logo on a sweatsuit, it's not that hard. The logo in the middle of a sweatsuit, anyone can come up with that S man, like that shit. Then someone said, the logo ain't even the same, and it's just a sweatsuit. You don't own the wholesale company that sells them, so there will always be a dupe even for high-end products. So now just justify this girl for copying my stuff because dupes is a thing. And it's just a sweatsuit. That I created and I slaved over and I packaged and I created and I invested in. Someone said, you're so childish. Leave that girl alone. She literally said she didn't copy you. And if she did, you have to think like, dang, maybe she's inspired. This could have been talked about privately, but little miss attention seeker. Attention seeker. All right. Probably found that that living room off of pinterest so it's a coincidence that she steals my design and uses my living room off of pinterest really really you're literally a big bully you always have your fan base bully people and you never do anything about it always she's a small business starting off just like you did once upon a time we've both been in business for a year Cut her some slack. She said she wasn't going to sell the, the sweatsuits. What more do you want from her? So, inspired is the same as copy. It's normal to use somebody else's picture for your one year anniversary. I'm a bully. She's a small business and she just started a year ago. Cut her some slack. But when a black, but this is a thing. <laughs> you do too much. I actually like you, but look how many different bread they have out here. Soap, hair, and you fussing with her about design. Everyone's just trying to make money. It's not that deep. It's not like mad people were going to buy that girl's sweatsuits and the design isn't even that original. The friends in a different world logos have the same concept. I can see if she stole your logo or something, but you can't even take legal action. That's why designers can't sue other people from using their stuff unless it's just trademark or LLV. Like LV. Okay. So basically, it's not that deep. Everyone's trying to make money, so it's okay for somebody to take my design and make money. Um, she's a small business. She only started a year ago. Another excuse. And that it's just a sweatsuit. What's so crazy here? Oh, hold on. Was that, did I do the jump? And somebody also said that I'm supposed to be uplifting black girls. Check this out. So when black owned businesses go ahead and get skinned, get copied by Sheen, or by Fashion Nova, everyone's going crazy reposting it, right? But wait, 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 because 90% of people are on my side. 
I didn't do this for sides, but they were. But on the other hand, like I'm saying, everyone's doing flip, doing flips, uh, flipping backwards, mad and shit, rolling around, panties in a shitty shingle because she and her fast knows or doll scale stole their stuff. And I always hear about those three brands stealing stuff, right? But as soon as a black girl gets her stuff stolen by another black girl, now it's you're tearing down another black girl. Someone else said, "Oh, but you, but you, but you might be um, withholding job opportunities from her if you take legal actions." Someone said, "Oh, but you." So I'm, I'm gonna find these receipts. Someone literally said, "But you make YouTube videos on how to how to have a successful business. So why are you mad that somebody it was inspired by you?" So now it's excuses. And oh, you tear down another black girl, but it's it's all on me. But instead, it's not not a black girl copying another black girl's design. It's all about Gabby. It's all oh, not a black girl tearing tearing her down. This girl stole my shit. So then, everyone's going crazy about the death threats, and I'll get to that. So I go back on this girl's page, and she posts this. So I was like, I don't give a F. I still want one. And she said, I love you guys so much. Talk about she so the what someone still wants the sweatshirt she copied. That's a slap in the face. I'm telling you, you took my stuff. You and if you swear you did not, why are you losing my, losing my living room? And uh, let's let's get into this. Why is the colors the same? I'm gonna put a picture of her set here. The very first D in her logo is defective. The color is defective because you don't see that color nowhere else on the pattern. But when it gets back to that, that part of the pattern, it turns into red. So her first letter is supposed to be red. Her second letter is orange. Her third letter is yellow. Her fourth yellow is color is green. And her fifth color... I, wait, let me start over. Her first color is supposed to be red. Her second color, orange. Her third color, color yellow. Her fourth color, green. Her fifth color, um, blue. Exact same color scheme. The only thing that's different on her set is the font. And I would have been like, oh, all right. It's, 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 it's all right. Like, if I had seen the, the top, would gave it away. But I peeked. Usually when brands sometimes do is when they put embroidery, they'll just put their logo going across like that. This girl even had the nerve to stack her words to make it a block like mine. That was the gag. That was the thing that really got me for real. That was what really got me for real. Moving on. So all day... I'm getting messages talking about some, oh, she's getting death threats. You a bully, you a bully, right? So that next day, I text her and I says, she, 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 okay, she said this. I just made a post. I'm not selling them no more. Let's talk about her sweatsuits. She said, I do not want to go back and forth with you. So much people from your side is wishing death on me and my mom. So, I'm going to skip this next paragraph. You can read it if you want, but it's not important. She, I say, let me see the death threats towards you and your mother. Like, I want to see. I want to see. Because I have a track record of people lying on my name saying they're receiving death threats from my, from my fans. And when I ask them, they never know. They never get sick. They say it. Happened once before. So, I said, I want to see the threats. She said, the death threats were through voice messages. And I know you're not going to believe me. So then I say, okay, can you screen record it? So she sends me screenshots of somebody cussing her out. I know that's wrong, but that's not death threats. That's not what people was coming to my DM telling me what's happening to you. I said death threats. The death, the, the death threats. Where is it? Where is it? She says, I've been deleting hateful messages all day. I say, I'm saying, can you send me the threats? Can you record it? Did you delete it? She said, yes. I don't want to see those evil messages. And I said, but you screenshot the ones who cussed you out. I am just asking for the threat so I knew who these people were. And she said, 
they were fake spam pages, but they all coming at me and my brand. I said, but I'm asking who threatened you and your mom. And she she just left me on for three hours. She left me on for three hours and never responded. So I I blocked her. Then I unblocked her because I'm like, no, let me keep my DMs open if she got some more else to say. So that being said, she posted multiple times she's taking on the sets. She, she's not selling the sets no more, but she still got them up on her page. The launch date's still up. The pictures are still up. She never deleted them. So technically, the launch is still going on. I want to see what she told her vendor she was inspired by when she made the cream set. Remember, I told y'all, I wore this ratty behind hoodie in ninth, 10th grade in high school. And that's why I like I like the style of the jacket. And I got my logo made with these colors by my guy, Jared, from college. Black artist. He made every he makes my thank you cards, my logos, everything. Y'all see that's like cartoon or logo-ish. He made it. I told y'all that I told my vendor. I want sweatpants shorts based off of the sweatsuits he already made me with the same stuff. So that being said, I want to know what she told her vendor she wanted and what what pictures she sent them. Because when you're working with a vendor, you got to show them your, 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 your inspiration. You got to show them, oh, what, what you want. And I'm 100% sure this girl sent her vendor my sweats. And just said, can you change the font? Until I see that, <laughs> it's stuck. I'm certain. Because how, how, how do you even go about that? You sent a picture of my stuff to your vendor, for sure. And it's, okay. This might be a reach. I talked about it on my spam. They said it wasn't a reach and my feelings are completely valid. But before I say this, I am tired of people invalidating my feelings. I'm tired of people acting like I'm a slave or a robot for their entertainment. I'm a person. I'm a college student. I'm a friend. I'm a girlfriend. I'm a daughter. I'm a cousin. I just make videos for entertainment and I go about my business. So don't invalidate my feelings. Y'all see me slaving. Doing packaging videos. Y'all see me slaving. Staying up till how long doing doing packages. Y'all see how what my brand represented. Y'all see how much I care about my stuff. My brand is my is my passion. I've seen most people take ideas from me. I've seen vendors post my earrings and sell them to customers. I've seen people use me, my my packages in my face as an ad for their business. I see it every day, but I never speak on it because I don't like competition. I don't want anyone. I don't, I just don't like competition like that, but I was tired. I was tired. I was tired. So, uh, oh, okay. Like I said, this might be a reach, but listen, hear me out. When I first dropped my sets, I dropped cream and purple. This is the Playdate set. The other set's called the Tattletale set, right? So, when I take my product pictures, I stand in the light. I stand in front of my window. I, like, do a really stiff pose for the model and John. Take a picture. So, for my purple sets, the lighting made my set look pink. But not a bubblegum pink like this. Not a hot pink like Barbie. Not even a baby pink. It was more like a weird purple pink shade. Let's, I'll put a picture right here. Actually, let me just put a picture right here. So when I so I did the launch video, everyone was going crazy waiting for my launch to drop, right? Um, Two days before, I dropped the photos of my stuff. Like a day before or the night before, something like that. For some reason, my set looked pink. 
I sometimes have trouble differenti differentiating some colors sometimes. And I thought that it looked purple. Again, the color is like, my sets are like this color right here. But the sun had made the weird, the way the camera was looking at the sun, like made the set look like a weird pinkish purple color. So I posted the two sets and I saw some people in the comments like, where's the purple set? And I'm like, what is they talking about? Because I'm looking at purple, but it's really looking like pink to other people. So I'm like, huh? So me being busy, me being with my launch, I totally forget to even acknowledge those comments. But I'm like, wait, what are they talking about? I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. So when I finally dropped my stuff, people were just DMing me like, Gabby, where's the purple set? Where's the purple set? I see pink, but I don't see. I'm like, what? So I go to my page. I'm like, my website, I'm like, hmm, that set does look a little pink a little bit so what i did was i played with the saturation to get a more accurate color a more accurate purple color instead of that pink purple right so that picture was up for like a day and a half two days the pinkest one i changed it to per like a i made it a little darker which was the actual color i emailed the customers and if you ordered from me you know i emailed the customers and said hi blank this is gab we're just reaching out to let you know the set is indeed purple the saturation was a little weird in the photo if you would like to change the, the cancel the order please let me know stuff happens but what's weird is that the girl was saying that her set was really pink remember her picture it looked purple on instagram when she was i'll put the picture here it looked like this but in her video she held it up and it looked pink but like a weird pink, not a usual pink. So me being a detective Gabby or me being scientist hypothesis Gabby, I think that this girl, and hear me out, took my photos that I posted of my sets right before my launch when I made a mistake with the color and sent those to her vendor and got the samples. That's why that pink she sold looked so strange. You don't see people selling pinks that's weird like that. Like, it's more, like, come on. It's more like a hot pink, Barbie pink, bubblegum pink, baby pink. It was a weird cross between a pink and purple. And that's what mine looked like in the photo, too. So, I'm like, it is what it is. Um, Like I said, if this woman was white, black, Asian, Indian, whatever, I would still do the same thing. You being a black-owned business and me uplifting black girls don't got nothing to do with it. You took my design. You posted a photo of my living room. You deleted all the comments that just simply said that this kind of looks like a little black child. You turned off comments. You lied about threats to make me look bad when the whole time what my followers do don't got nothing to do with me i'm just about to sit here and say guys don't send her when i just say that somebody stole my stuff i don't even think about people sending threats that's not even on my mind i'm not your mom i'm not your grandpa i'm not your uncle aunt sister cousin i'm somebody that i entertain you through a screen i'm not gonna sit here and don't do this. Don't. That is your business, and I don't got nothing to do with that. That's not on me. If you crazy enough to send someone threats, they don't got nothing to do with me. But again, nah, lying about threats. If you was threatened, why you ain't screenshot? Why you ain't have? Oh, she deleted all the this, the threats. They are gonna say local black child's fans threatened me, just like the other girl did before. I'm not gonna get into it, but she lied about her threats too. They posted a whole fake suicide letter. I said local black child made me hurt myself, but I'm not gonna get into that. That a whole nother person. Trying to make me look bad for calling out somebody who stole my stuff. Like I'm the bad guy here, bro. I don't like that for real. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I really hope I'm not I'm not missing anything right now. Acting like the victim, saying that I'm a black owned business, I shouldn't be tearing her down, saying her business still stands as if, girl. This is said, I work so hard on my brand. Can I can I tell you something? I understand that, but we's different. The brand is a little different. I create 
you invest. I'm not knocking nobody hustle because you already know that's not what I do. So if you try to sit at you twisting my words. But she reselling Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton body suits. She's reselling sheen bags. She resells. This girl resells. She resells. She doesn't have any custom products except this one. Everything she sells is stuff you can find on Alibaba with no customization. Me, on the other hand, I draw stuff up. I talk to my vendor. We come up with ideas together. I pay for my logo. All that. So, come on. You invest. I create. And there's a difference. I create the designs. You invest in products and resell. Let's not do that victim stuff right now. Like I said, if the girl was black, white, Asian, whatever, I'd be doing the same thing. And don't you ever dare sit here and say, pull the I'm black card, you bring out a black woman card. No, you stealing from a black woman. Oh, or you trying to make me seem like I'm a flip the script, flip the script, lie about Fred, flip the script. So, I'm, oh, I'm black, I'm, but you black stealing from a black business. We both started around the same time. So, come on. I just got a little bigger. I don't like that. And if you still want to sit here and say this girl is innocent, she's such a nice girl, and third, I'm going to just go ahead and say, I'm going to end this video after this. She deleted comments with my name. She turned off comments. She lied about threats. She copied my idea color for color. Where the, where the shorts? Where the shorts? Placement. Placement. Copy placement. She freaking playing victim. Talk about some oh, but I ain't black. Okay. What did I do with me? Being smart, talking about I still love my customer, my stuff that's using my living room. Also, just to add, a lot of people were saying that pointing out the fact I didn't even notice and I don't know what to think about it, but notice that the girl was wearing the same exact hairstyle as me. So in my launch, when I launched these same sweatsuits, the cream ones with the colorful logo. She, I wore a blonde, like, swoop ponytail bang thing situation. She wore the same hairstyle when she launched these sweatsuits. So, people was bringing it up, like, at least six people, seven people was bringing it up. No, more like 15. It was a lot. But I ain't really speak on it because, number one, I don't, I can't text on my platform. Because, like, they ban me. But also, like, I just don't know to think about it. But I was like, that's a bad joint. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm going to go ahead in the video. If I think of anything else that I got to say, I'm going to just edit it in. Other than that, I hope you'll have a good day. Like I said, I like my, my um, page to be an escape and entertainment. But I just want to come on here and let y'all know what's up. Um, I'll see y'all in my next video. It's definitely going to be more on a good note. And I'm going to be more happy and upbeat. I never come on here like this, but today was the day. It was. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. I...